What's up? This is Frank Carr from the Route Snakes, and you're listening to SCAD Radio. Hey, we're live on SCAD Radio with Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great. Good, thanks. How you doing? We're doing good. So uh, it's your first tour stateside with this band. How's that going for you so far? It's been amazing. Like shows have been great. Everybody that's come out has just wanted to party, and that's that's what we're here for. So yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun, man. Is there uh, any huge differences between touring in the states and uh, touring back home? Everything, <laughs> <laughs> from the people to the drives to the the venues. Like every everything is different, you know. Like it's but mostly the heat is what's really crushing me at the minute. Like I'm. I'm, I'm trying to just enjoy this as a holiday, but it's uh, then I have to go and work for an hour in the sun every day. So it's like, yeah, you know, we're, we're trying to balance it out, but it's, it's been great. It's been good fun. And uh, there are some listeners in the States who might not be so familiar with your newest project. So what would you say would be a good song to serve as an entry point into your music? I think probably the best song at the minute is Lullaby. Yeah, yeah. what do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Lullaby is like a song I wrote... Um, all about my daughter, um, about like her waking me up in the middle of the night. She wasn't very well, and I like rocked her to sleep in my arms and sang her a, a Nirvana song as a lullaby, and she fell asleep with a smile on her face. So that that song is the perfect introduction to us. So yeah. And uh, a lot of your music on Modern Ruin seems to be about relationships, like you just said. Is uh, what seems to inspire this? Would you say? relationships <laughs> the the trouble of you know the thing about it is that you know everybody everybody can kind of appreciate that you know like everybody has relationships going on in their life like positive ones negative ones and ultimately we're just all trying to do our best and survive um, you know for me like I was going through a lot of stuff with my wife like we just had a kid we'd like lost some loved ones we'd lost some jobs we you know there's a lot of change in our life and um, really, it was just that's what the whole record is about. It's about trying to understand all of that. So, is there a sort of message that you'd like to send with this album or and your music in general? Man, with this album, I just want to. I hope it people listen to it and they they, you know, it gives them strength when they need it. Um, and with the band, I don't know what's what's the message for the band. Like, I think to just do your own thing. Yeah. So we've since the start, we've always like not worried about what other people are doing and just. That's why we wrote a, a blues song on the first album full of punk songs. and So I think just to kind of stay in your own lane and do whatever you want to do. Stay in your own lane. <laughs> that's, that's Rattlesnakes yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. And were there any major differences in between recording this latest album and Blossom, would you say? Yes and no. Like, we recorded it in the same studio with the same producer with almost all the same musicians. Um, but the, the main difference was that we just wanted to do something so vastly different from Blossom that we set out to do that from the beginning. And we, we it was kind of an acid test, wasn't it? We wanted to, to show that like, even if everything is the same, if you go with a different attitude, you can make a vastly different record. Yeah, it was all about, we, we, had, a bat, we had a level and we wanted to see how high we could jump over that level, you know? So Modern Ruins a personal best, I think, for both of us so far, so. So this album does have more of a rock and roll feel to it, I would say, like rockabilly-ish. Would you say that even despite this uh, slight change and shift in sound, that your older music has influenced it in any way? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you are who you are and you're made up of your entire history and the things that you crave in the future. So for us, like, yeah, no doubt all of our previous bands have gone into Modern Ruin and gone into Rattlesnakes. Um, but for us, like Dean said, like it's just about it's about doing whatever you want. Like that's really who we are. We we like to sort of fly that flag as brightly and as proudly as we can. So yeah. And uh, how would you say that this album in particular shows the progression of sound, where it's gone, and where it's going to go in the future? This record is 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 the most immediate. Um, it's the best look at us right now. You know, it, it kind of sums us up perfectly it's the definitive record if you if you didn't know who I was I would give you this record and say that kind of sums up me for the past 10 years you know because it's got a little bit of everything that makes me up but it's also got a little bit of future in there as well so and uh, what's next for Frank Carter and the rattlesnakes melting in the in, in the Jacksonville heat at 4 p.m. 
Um, just a lot of shows. We got what four weeks out here left. Yeah, another four weeks in the states. So uh, yeah, 20, 20 more shows here, and then we've got like a whole load of summer festivals in Europe and the UK. Um, big tour in December. We're, we're trying to set up this tour in September, October at the minute over there. So busy, and then at some point we got to come back here. So we we're just going to be working all year long. Absolutely. Is there a favorite place for you to play? Would you say? Jacksonville, obviously. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, where, wherever is our last show, normally, like, that kind of, you're only as good as your last gig, really, like, and so, like, yeah, for us, it's going to be today, I think, so we'll see. So, this is our first US festival, so this also, like, is quite exciting for us, because we've got a real chance to go out and show who we are, so. Is, would you say that there's a big difference in atmosphere between the US festivals and the major European festivals? I have no idea yet. <laughs> I'll tell you about five o'clock today. <laughs> Awesome, and is there anyone you're looking forward to seeing today, personally? I just came and saw, uh, I saw Dinosaur Pile Up on the way over, they were awesome, they were killing the main stage. Um, who was playing? Perfect Circle's playing today. Yeah, we've got Mastodon. Um, Mastodon tonight, Lines yeah. Death Metal, Sam Garden. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a <laughs> serious lineup. I'm kind of gutted we're not here tomorrow because I wanted to see Papa Roach, but it's, you know, it's the way it goes, so. Awesome, well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thanks for having us. It's again, SCAD Radio, more than music.